Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica. If you're new here, this channel is about homeschooling and everything that has to do with it. If you are new, like and subscribe as always. And let's start with our review today. Today's review is on Horizons Math. Horizons Math is written by Alpha Omega Press, which is a Christian curriculum. Interesting tidbit about it is from kindergarten to I believe third grade there is nothing there is no religious mention in the books uh, no no passages from the Bible no mention of Jesus anything like that now starting at about third grade or maybe fourth grade it becomes very religious there is scriptures in about every lesson lots of mention of Jesus fruits of the spirit things like that so if you are not religious you might have a little bit of a hard time with it because it is very, very filled with that. Didn't bother us. Um, this is kindergarten. And one thing that I really wanted to see in our curriculum, it might not be everybody's thing, but I really wanted something that's colorful. And Horizons map is pretty colorful. It's not overwhelming, it's not too much color, but it is nice and pretty and just aesthetically pleasing to me. Next thing is lessons are pretty small. I would say for kindergarten at least, they are two pages. So as you see right here, the lesson starts right here and ends right here. It's very thorough. There's a lot of concepts that are reviewed. The Horizons Math, follows the spiral approach. And if you're new to homeschooling, there are usually two approaches to math and it's either mastery approach or spiral approach. Mastery approach is when there is a concept that's taught and the child has to master it before they move on to the next concept. A spiral approach is more of a concept, a portion of a concept is taught and then it builds up on it throughout the lessons. There const there's constant practice and constant reminder of what you, the child, has been taught. So we do like the spiral approach. My children really did need to get reminded. They would forget a concept if they're not reminded of it every day. And so I love the spiral approach. The curriculum itself is very thorough. There is a lot that's taught throughout the year, but it doesn't take a long time, which is interesting. My child, my child doesn't really like math that much, so it helps that it doesn't take a long time, but he's still retaining and he's still learning every time. There isn't much else to say. It's, it's a, a small video. It's a great curriculum. Go on AOP.com and look at their sequence and you can look at the samples, and if you really like it, give it a try. It is not expensive. I would say it's pretty well priced. For two books, every year you get two books, book one, book two, and a teacher's manual. For two books and the teacher's manual, it's around $100. Sometimes for the younger grades, I didn't buy the teacher's manual because it wasn't that hard. I didn't, I, there's, that's concepts that I already knew I didn't need review on. So, at that point, it would be about $70 or so. That's about it. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what else you want me to talk about. And have a good day.